The mood setting in right now is that of love. Now, love is the most expensive feeling to ever happen in one's life. Love and rights is what we preach here on Relationship Matters on KMTV, your number one TV station online. Love is the most expensive feeling, the most original and authentic and beautiful one will ever feel. From the heart of Northern Region, it is Relationship Matters on KMTV, your number one relationship program in the city. Get interactive with us by leaving your comments in the section box. Do not also forget to like, uh, forward, uh, you know, share this video, this broadcast you're watching and enjoy. Let others also get to watch this as well. Tonight, we're discussing responsibilities of both sexes in a relationship as well as marriage. There's a whole lot coming up. We're ready to ramble. Of course, I'm not alone. I am here with my guest, which I get to introduce after this break. You're welcome back from that break, a very different one. Of course, it's Relationship Matters on KMTV, your number one online TV station from the heart of Northern Region, Tamale. My name is Queen Classy, and I'm here with Honey, Hello. <laughs> who is a new face you know, amongst my guests, and uh, the man who will always get used to him <laughs> because he'll always be with us. Mr. Alafilala. Oh, it's just Alafilala. Just Alafilala. <laughs> okay, so we take the Mr. off and we make it Alafilala. Tonight, these are my guests to help me discuss uh, responsibilities of both sexes in a relationship and marriage. First of all, we'll even take their side on a definition of a relationship before we even get into the discussion. We're getting rolling. Do not forget to like, share this broadcast as you're sharing and leave your thoughts in the comment section let us know what you think are the responsibilities of each sexes in a relationship or marriage feel free to do so and share this video lady and gentlemen <laughs> good evening good evening how are we fine good. thank you mm. how has the week been a bit stressful but to me, it's fine. I love feeling. How is your week? Very tiring. Very tiring. Very tiring. Oh, I hear you do a lot of gym as well. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. So let me start with you, honey. There's a there's an adage that ladies first, isn't it? Yeah. So let me start off with you. Okay. When we say a relationship, what is a relationship? Basically, relationship can be a set of emotions and behaviors that are being characterized by passion, intimacy, and of course, communication between the male and the female gender. Okay, yeah. that is your thoughts yeah. on a relationship, yes. beautifully explained mm -hmm. over there. But uh, as a lady as well, what roles are you supposed to you know, uh, portray in a relationship? Okay, roles to play in a relationship as a lady one i would think about one is appreciating your guy's little efforts whatever he's doing for you be it big or small you have to show appreciation guys love it when you appreciate what they are doing for you they will do more in addition and two i think you should respect his time with his friends once you accept to be with him know that he already had some relations before you came into his life. So if you are with him, you have to give him that space to be with his friends. You can't just have him to yourself, nagging, where are you? I mean, guys love to be, to love, guys love to have their independence. He can go out to watch football with his friends, just hang out. So you have to see it as normal. And one thing is trust. Trust has always been the keystone of every relationship. So once you accept to be with him, you have to give him that trust, trust him. And guys, when they feel trusted around you, you don't have to worry. They are secured, when they are secured around you, you see, they don't worry about being judged. So once you accept to be with him, you have to trust him in that aspect. And one of the things is you have to be independent as a lady. You have to be a bit independent in your relationship. You'll be a good girlfriend if you start doing things on your own and don't depend on him so much. With that, your guy will see you to be a responsible and a loving girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the 
responsibilities a lady should take when you go into a relationship. A relationship. Yeah. I see. One of um, the pressures that society has, you know, put on relationships nowadays. You know, we um, time immemorial. You know, we know uh, even in our religious books. You know, they are clearly spelled out the responsibilities of a man and that of a woman. But recent, you know, our generation, the twenty first generation, we're seeing some sort of a mix up. Yeah. In these responsibilities yeah. as a man and a woman in a relationship. Yeah. Kindly help us understand um how we can do away with some of these pressures of, of uh society from society in our relationships. I mean when we are with your guy, you know each other, that's why you people decided to date. So you need to understand each other. Whatever pressure that is coming from the society is left for you people to stand firm and strong and defend yourselves in the relationship and don't allow other things from the society to jam you guys up. And besides, when you are with your guy, you know his capacity and you know yourself your capacity. So you don't have to pressure him to some limit just because society is pushing you, this is what everybody is doing, he must do it. No, you have to know him very well and let him do things according to his capacity and don't let society pressure you guys into things that you cannot do. Mm. Yeah, I see. Beautiful, uh, clear there. But you mentioned earlier in your, you mentioned some of the responsibilities of a woman in a relationship, and you mentioned giving your man space yeah. in order for him to do what he wants yeah. to do. Talking about space, don't you think it's, um, should there be a limit to the space you're giving your man? Not really, but at some point there should be a limit. Mm. You have your guy, if you're in a relationship with your guy, you know his shadows. You know that from Monday to Friday, he's at work. He's occupied with work, busy. Maybe you people, you find time during the evening time to spend time together. And weekends, you know, weekend, Charlie, I'm going to my guy's place to watch football. There is an adder in here, I'm going with my friends. I mean, some of these things, they are very understandable. Not just every day. He's not busy, but all the time he's out there with other people. He's not having time for you. That one is different. But if you know his shadow and know that at this point in time, here, at this time, my guy is at work. He's occupied doing this. So the little time he gets, he tries to be with you and divide it small for his friends and social gatherings. I don't think there is nothing wrong. Hmm. Yeah. I see. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's now turn to the gentleman in um always staying strong <laughs> amongst women. I love you, Lena. It's so good to have you on again. I'm very glad. And I hope we'll see more of you. Sure. Okay, so let's just get rolling. The definition of a relationship for you. Yes, um, a relationship, it it's, has different meanings. We have um, one that's maybe, maybe an affection due to kingship. Kingship? Yes, that's the relation between maybe siblings, parents, and and we have one that is affection due to intimacy. That is when we bring in love and the sex and other things. Uh, the romantic yes, relationship. Exactly, that's okay. where we bring in romance. Uh. So that's the basically the types of relationships we have. It's it's an affection or intimacy due to kingship or due to intimacy. Okay. Yeah, sure. Mm. So th those are your definitions for a relationship. Now, let's specifically boil down to a romantic relationship. What is that? It's, it's, it's affection due to intimacy. Okay. Like that's that's maybe I'm attracted to you due to intimacy. Okay. Sexually attracted to you. Yeah, that has to do with romance. Okay. So that is a romantic relationship. relationship yeah, sure. mm. Now, as a man, you have responsibilities exactly. to take in a relationship. What are some of these? Well, as a man in a relationship, basically, aside maybe the genetic definition of um, responsibilities or maybe the socially defined responsibility given to a guy, I think in every relationship, the basic responsibility every guy should um, perform should be friendship, being a friend to your 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 other partner. That's the female sex. Um, a company, 
being like company, keeping her company at most of the time, also give her a listening ear when she needs someone to talk to. You be there for her. Also, affection, show her love, trust her, like make her feel like she's she's the most or she's the prettiest you've ever seen exactly okay those those are part of the guy's responsibility okay. make make her feel wanted okay yeah, like express your your mm. your your wants towards her make her feel wanted make her feel like she's been appreciated being with you okay. she's she don't just make it look as if like without her you would be okay mm. you have to give her that feeling make her feel like oh she's she's a part of your world you get it you also have to be kind of a protective be protective towards her, mm. be her kind of a guardian when she's not home and she's with you, you have the sole responsibility to protect her okay. and also you have to be supportive towards your, your girlfriend and most importantly make her happy. <laughs> Happiness is key in every relationship, be it um, the, the, the romance relationship or be it kingship, happiness is key, make her happy make her feel like she's on top of issues give okay. her time spend time with her you get it so those are the responsibilities of a guy in a relationship yeah okay i see you've mentioned quite a lot that i'm so impressed about but you mentioned uh giving her a listening ear yeah sure you would agree with me that most guys nowadays i don't know whether they don't understand that or they just try to ignore or just push that aside. Given your woman a listening ear, kindly elaborate on that. Yeah, you know, ladies naturally, they want to, they always want to talk to someone, be it their guy or a friend, you know. So if you are the type of guy who don't give your lady that attention, some, some may classify that as attention. Mm. If you are that kind of guy who don't usually give your, your lady that attention, she may begin to seek it elsewhere. You know, mm. some some relationships has uh, have have come to an end due to some of these issues, yeah. lack of attention. Mm. You know, the, the the lady may be at some point of some point in time craving the guy's attention, mm. but the guy wouldn't be available. Uh, that Any, no gets yes, it, it, exactly. <laughs> Any guy who begins to give her that attention, attention. you know, mm. her affection would begin to shift from you to that guy yeah. so that's 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 why people generalize it as like ladies want attention once you begin to give her attention you begin to win her heart mm. so naturally ladies want someone who listens to them be it gossip even if she's not making sense just listen to her <laughs> yeah. sometimes you want to gossip mm. she goes out maybe from work the the some petty things happen yeah. she wants to share with yeah. you and she wants to get your opinion mm -hmm. You, you get what I'm yeah. saying? So we like give her that listening ear so that she will discuss even after she she had said everything and you don't you don't comment or you don't compliment on whatever she has said, she, she gets offended. Mm. So you just give her that attention, mm. listen and try to make it like a conversation and not a monologue. Okay. So that when she talks you kind of chip in and you make her like you give her the feeling that oh she's communicating with you and you are communicating back. Right. Uh, so that's the kind of attention okay. when she wants to talk to somebody, someone, be there for her to talk to. Okay. Yeah. Be there for her to talk to and give her feedback. <laughs> Ladies, most of the time, we want attention. And this is just a tip of the iceberg of this particular conversation. Just stay with us. We'll be back in a GF. And we're back from that very short commercial break. And this is still uh, Relationship Matters on KMTV, your number one online TV station from the heart of Northern Region, Tamale. My name again is Queen Classy. Make sure you're sharing this broadcast. If you want to share your thoughts with us, you can. Just leave it in the comment section and we get to read your comments as well. Follow us, do not forget, and share. Let your friends know about Relationship Matters on KM TV, Alafi, Lana and Honey are my guests on this discussion uh, responsibilities uh, of both sexes in a relationship and marriage. You have a thought and a voice as well. So let us know what you think. 
in the comment section. Thank you so much for staying with us also. Don't bend your band your bachari. It's worth it, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. So before we even went on the commercial break, Alafi Nana was saying something. I would continue to pick it from there. So Alafi Nana, back to you again on you. you were talking on the listening ear of men where I asked if uh, guys just intentionally, you know, push it aside or they just um you know just don't care about that. You 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 clearly explained that to us. As well. Now you also mentioned about um, showing her love, you know, through various means, which you, uh, before the first commercial break, you explained sure. a little. But can you throw more light to that? How can a man show her woman, show his woman love in a relationship or marriage? Yeah, you know, um, every human being wants to be loved. It's it's actually good to feel love. I think in your introductory statement, you made mention that love is authentic. Yes, it is authentic. Love is natural. <laughs> yeah. You get it. So once you feel loved, you also bring out the, the love in you. Mm. You get it. Mm. So as a guy, showing a, your girlfriend love, occasionally buy her gifts, little gifts, surprise her with gifts, surprise her with calls, <laughs> take her out, uh -huh. you know, take her out, always be there for her. Do little things for her that she wouldn't get when she's in her house. Mm. That would make her feel love. Mm. You'll be doing things that naturally she wouldn't get mm. if she's in her house. That's the difference with being with you and being in her house. Mm. So you'll be doing things out of your own means like things you wouldn't have done if you were not in the relationship so once you begin to or you've agreed to date you would now have to do some certain things that would make your woman feel loved mm. yeah sure i see now some guys i've heard actually some guys you say i don't i i love her but i just do not know how to show it is there a circumstance like that no, when you could love and not necessarily know how to show it. Even love could be shown in your attitude. Okay. Love could be shown in your communication. You get it? Yeah. How you treat a lady shows whether you love her or not. Naturally, every lady, not only ladies, every human being knows when she, he or she is being loved. Okay. Let's say if I'm with my girlfriend, what she does the, the the sacrifices she makes her attitude the way she talks to me would make me feel or realize if she actually loves me or not mm, mm. there are certain things you do only in love or only when you love somebody and you wouldn't do it like on any other normal day so your attitude your actions the the your communication how you talk to that person mm. would make that person know whether you actually love that person or not so there's no instance that maybe someone would say i love this person but i don't know how to show it okay even the way you sleep shows that you love the person if you actually love the person <laughs> the way you sleep the way you sleep should, should show that you love the person the way you talk uh, uh. to that person the way you communicate the way you eat when you are with that person the way you act you react okay. to that person's petty petty actions mm -hmm. shows whether you love that person or not so i don't know if people are now limiting love to maybe some material things, but okay. love can actually be shown in your attitude, okay. your behavior. Yeah. Mm. I see. So much of that over there. You also mentioned that one, uh, one of the responsibilities of a man is to make a woman feel protected. Yeah, that sure. is protection. Sure. How can a man protect a woman? Yeah, sure. So like, like I was saying, naturally, if a lady is in her house the protection the protection lies in the bosom of her father mm. or her parents mm. you know naturally every man protects his daughter mm. from outsiders every from father. danger every father mm. protects his daughter from danger any imminent danger the, the father will protect her so that kind of protection you should be able to give her that protection if she's with you you protect her from outsiders, you protect her from any imminent danger that may come her way. Mm. Be it verbal attack, physical attack, even 
even um what 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 how how would I even put it? Even giving her shelter mm -hmm. is a way of protection. Protection. Uh -huh. So you protect her from any imminent danger. Anything you feel may threaten her life, may threaten her happiness. You protect her from that thing. From that. Yeah. I see. Now let me come back to you, uh, um, honey. You some some will say that you haven't mentioned all the responsibilities of a woman in a relationship where some of the societal pressure that I was talking about is, you know, probably washing, cooking, you know, doing some house chores for your boyfriend. What do you say about that? Okay, I think that one is voluntary. It's voluntary? Yeah, you can prefer to help your man. So it's a choice? It's a choice. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not your responsibility. So far as you are not yet married. Okay. Yes, it's just a gesture rendering. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to help him. Okay. Yeah. Or mm. maybe you are trying to play the role of the wife material role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You say you cook, you the wife material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, you know, I see that. It's it. not a responsibility. It's not... Just that we are now pushing those things into the relationship. Mm. And those are just societal pressure. They'll be like, if you don't go to his place weekends, go and cook, tidy up the house, he might not see you to be a wife material. material. Master, if you are not the one. You are not the one. Yeah. That even reminds me on she's saying if you're not the one, you're not the one. Um oh so, so uh, it has escaped me. I read news yesterday, just yesterday, where uh one of these uh Nigerian actors, uh he's he's, he's, he's a veteran actor, he mentioned that a man already knows a woman he wants to marry. Yeah. He doesn't even need to date you for a long period to know if yeah. you're marriageable material oh, no. yes, yes I, I read that story I, 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 the name has actually escaped me i came across that story, that story yeah, yeah yesterday i, I don't know if you did you, you haven't it. seen that it was just last night so that was going through there's a man does not need to a man already knows who he wants he to, marry. to marry even before you know he comes to you knows this is what i want mm -hmm. i want to marry her and she, he doesn't need to be in a long relationship, relationship a long term yeah. relationship with you to know if you are the one. Is that true? That's very true. Okay. Yeah, sure. You know, man, men naturally wants to be respected, mm -hmm. and men naturally we want ladies who we feel like can be supportive, ladies who can be submissive, ladies who can take care of children. Should you? bring for children okay. you know so you 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 that those are the things the key things you look out in a lady when you are dating you get it uh -huh. so you don't need to date a lady for a very long time uh -huh. to be able to understand these basic needs of her you would want uh -huh. so once you you go out with a lady even sometimes the way a lady talks how she composes herself uh -huh. would go a long way to affect a man a, a man's perception about her you get it yeah if if i go out with a lady how she behaves in public how she reacts to situation you get it probably let's see we are on a motorbike we are riding together a little a little what would i say maybe somebody crosses you a little you as the man you don't even talk like you don't complain and she's sitting behind Start shouting <laughs> at, you the get person. at the person. Yeah. It, it has happened to me before. <laughs> so you clearly you know that this this you get it. Yeah, you see that busy way and so like so and, and make you like ready to attack. Like make you feel like she she is ready to attack. So you know those kind of attitude. Yeah. Some ladies cannot. Some ladies can't hide, hide it. it. Yeah. It's, it's natural. <laughs> That's how they were brought up. You, so. Like a man dating a lady looks out for all this attitude, mm. how you communicate, how you relate to his friends, mm. how you relate to his family, mm. how you relate to other people, even your own friends, mm. how you relate with your own friends can, to some extent, determine a man's perception about you. Yeah. So if you go out with a lady a week to at most a month, you stay a month with a lady, you should be able to tell if this is the kind of lady I want to marry or not. Mm. Though sometimes maybe some perceptions may change over time, mm -hmm. but in the first few times you've been together, the perceptions you picked about her would 
for a long time stay. Mm. You get it. It will be some some perceptions are very difficult to change mm. once it has been formed. And so if you spend some little time with a lady as a man, trust me, we always look out for these things. Like like you ladies will put it, whether she's she's a marriage material or not. Mm. But trust me, we look out for these things. Not necessarily not cooking and washing. No, 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 mm. no, no. For cooking, it's it's like it's it's a basic. It's a basic. Basic responsibility every every human being should. And we yeah. we've all gone through school. Okay. In the university, who would cook for you? Okay. You cook you cook your own food. Mm. You eat your own food. Right. So cooking, I don't know, maybe for some men, but for most men out there, cooking comes last when they are considering. Marriage. We have good women, good women, though it's part of the attribute of a good woman. But sometimes you look at the background of such a lady, where she is coming from the culture she's coming from so, so you don't put cooking first, first. Mm. when you are considering these things of marriage material you don't no, not at all the cooking she can learn you your you the man you should also know how yeah, to, cook. to cook yeah sure so that comes last i see that comes last and the man knows who he already wants to marry and do not need to date you for a long time so ladies out there take note but still with you honey um, a lot of people mentioned something about support system where a man should be able to support his woman. I didn't hear you mention that in your um, responsibilities yeah. of uh, uh, a woman actually. When, when it comes to support for women in a relationship to their man, how is it like? Support can be financial support and domestic support, even spiritual support. It's not bad praying for your boyfriend, helping him for things to move on. I mean, you can go to church, pray for him. If you go to... I have a friend, I had a friend who used to pray for the boyfriend very well that even if she go for Juma prayer, she would take money and put a sadaka just to pray for things to go on well for, for, the, boyfriend. for the boyfriend. So in this case, it's a spiritual support. support. Yes. Yes. And it's not only guys that are supposed to help women with money. If you are the lady and you know your guy is struggling to do something and you have the money, you can assist him with that. That is the financial support. Coming back to the domestic support. Domestic support can be like you helping your guy in some aspects. Like, just like what we were talking about, the cooking and washing is support, not a responsibility. You can support him in that aspect, mm. cooking and washing for him mm. is also a support. support. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Allah yeah. Allah. What does it mean or look like for a man to support a woman in a relationship? Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes um, a lady may be caught up in making decisions. You know, ladies and making their own decisions. Lady may be caught up in making certain decisions. That's when she discusses with you, the, the guy. Mm. So you can give her advice as to what decisions that she would take that would be best for both of you as a couple or maybe as dating partners. You can give her good advice as a form of support. Maybe when it comes to the finances too, when you realize like maybe she's kind of a bit down with the finances, you can support her in that aspect too as well and i wouldn't say for house chores you are already in your own house you do the things that are needed of you to do you can do that by yourself but basically the support a the kind of support a lady would need from a man is just mostly the financial aspect and aside the financial aspects the basic basic things in making decisions and those kind of things those kind of support, yeah. Okay. What's um, a man? You want something? Um, okay. Yes. Encouraging your man to be a support. Mm -hmm. Believing in your man. Believing in Pushing him. him to do better. Pushing him in the positive aspect, not the negative aspect. It's mm -hmm. also some form of mm -hmm. a support. Support, yeah. I see. Thank you so much for that enlightenment as well. We just, uh, you know, the, 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 the drum is already, you know, rolling. <laughs> On Relationship Matters on KMTV, your number one online TV station online from the heart of the Northern region, Tamale. We'll take a quick breather and we'll be back. 
And again, you're welcome back on Relationship Matters on KMTV with me, Queen Classy, uh, Alafilana, and Honey here, helping me do the discussion on responsibilities of both sexes in a relationship and marriage. If you're just joining us online on this broadcast, ah, you may have missed the first part that we have discussed or exhausted already the responsibilities of a man and a woman in a relationship. Now diving into the responsibilities of a man and a woman in a marital home. And Ella Filena has so much to share with us as we all know his status. If you don't, <laughs> well, <laughs> let me just, ah, okay, well, you know, uh, quite personal, let me just leave it here. But you have your thoughts as well if we're through, uh, watching us through from the start, you know what we're discussing already, so you can leave your comments there. Do not forget to share this broadcast, uh, follow us, KMTV, like and talk about relationship matters. And join us every Saturday uh, from 8.30 p.m. to uh, 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. or so. Yes, just make sure you're watching us here. Now we're diving into the responsibilities of a man and a woman in a marital home. And I would want to start with Alafi Lana. As a man, <laughs> we've exhausted that of in a relationship. Now this is where, as a man, you've gone, you know, to show your interest in a woman, taking her to your home, your home, <laughs> right? Now let us know the responsibilities of a man in a marital home. Well, let's see. Let me start with um, the convention, conventional way of handling marriages in in our marital homes. Mm. You see, conventionally, the responsibility of a man in marriage is to provide shelter, provide food, clothing, and what else? That's it, basically, that's it. Love? No, they love, you know, love is natural. <laughs> you would have loved each other before you okay. accepted to get married. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So when, once you are in a marital home, it's the sole responsibility, conventionally, of the man to provide shelter for them where they will live, food, when you eat, you feed your wife, clothing, when you wear, you make sure she wears something to mm. conventional. That's the, 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 or that's the gender rules of a man in, in marriage. But, you know, quite recently, especially this 21st century, things have changed. The world has become very competitive. Mm. You get it? So some of these, these, these rules are taking a different swipe. They are changing, depending on the, 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 where you find yourself in the relationship, or depending on who you are married to. You know? So some of these relationship given to men in marital homes may be altered a little bit depending on where the man is, depending on who he is married to, and depending on depending on the the, the cultural setting they are coming from. You get it? Yeah. So in this modern day and age, most of the responsibilities in marriage are as defined by the couple. Mm. Okay. The the lady and the man. Most most of the responsibilities are as defined by the, the couple. Okay. I may say maybe providing shelter, but we you would have um, maybe one or two examples where uh, a couple are living in the house of the woman, the lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get it, and providing food, accommodate food, and other financial support. You would have other ladies doing that in even in Tamale here. It's it's there. You have ladies providing financially for for um, for for their husbands, their husbands mm. for 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 their marriages. You know, the lady once the lady stops to provide financially, maybe the marriage will at a point break down. So some of these gender rules are quite altering, depending on the circumstances and depending on where you find yourself, sure. depending on whom you are married to. Okay. But traditionally or conventionally. The, the, the gender rule of demand is to provide shelter, provide food, clothing, protection, that's mm, it. That's it. I see, yeah. and if uh, and I explained some of these ones, that is the protection and all of that. Now, yeah. honey, 
Yeah. Um, a marriage. Hmm. Uh, it looks like uh, <laughs> I don't know if the award skill to award marriages. Yeah. It will be so competitive. Yeah. Trust me. Uh, to women, marriage is fulfilling. Yeah. It's like Charlie. That is the world. <laughs> you know. That is the world for us. Marriage. In fact. A woman who is not married at a certain age, you know, uh, society would begin to, you know, cast some kind of look yeah. at you. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Yes, yeah. yeah, so marriage is a big thing for women. And uh, it's uh, a time of our life where we feel we are fulfilled yeah. in everything, in all aspects yeah. of life. Now you're finally married. What are the ultimate roles as a woman in your marital home? As a woman, as a woman, one of the most important role you have to play in your marriage is to remain faithful. Okay. Once you exchange this yes I do, yes I do. Yes, once you exchange this yes I do, yes I do, you have to remain faithful mm. no matter what. You okay. don't have to go into any other intimate relationship with anybody. Okay. Some women will be like... <laughs> let, me, let me come in here. The man, are you faithful? <laughs> that's, where, that's where I'm going. Are you faithful? And actually, one is expected. To... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this... <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. But once you, you once you are married, uh -huh. naturally one is expected to stay faithful, faithful to your partner. Okay. But but it looks like society recently uh, doesn't really frown on a man married and seeing another lady, yeah, that's which we term side chick. Yeah, you know, you, you know but would, would ultimately frown at a woman who yeah. even uh, uh, goes to work and okay, the boss decides to even give you a left home. Yeah, it is, you know, are you sure? You know. No, yeah. that. It is and it is so because uh, naturally men are polygamous. There's this kind of background mentality that it, let's say in the Islamic setting a man can marry up to four. Yeah. So okay. even if a man is seen flirting with another lady, okay. the the answer that is quickly given to that action may be that oh he's willing to marry her hmm. in addition to his That's wife. That's where I was actually going. Okay. <laughs> but a lady, uh, once you are married, you are married. Please, are you aware in some countries now, ladies can, can marry more than one? Oh yes, it, it, it is. It, ah. <laughs> oh, you should be current with news. No, I'm here to hear that. So. Um, okay. In some countries, ladies can marry more Only than Andrew. one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm here to, I'm here to hear that. Yeah. Made legal. And that has been made legal. Oh, please, they can marry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making your point. Yeah, yes. he didn't finish everything. That's what I was saying. <laughs> so if you are if you are, if you are a woman, yes. a married woman, and your husband is going out, no matter what he's doing outside, but you have to remain faithful because men are polygamous in nature. Well, why but should we accept that? Like in no, the well, Islamic perspective, a man can marry two to four. You see, you see even, even with Islam saying that you can marry up to four, there are conditions yeah, to these conditions. Yeah. Uh, privileges given men. Yes. Yes. So you don't just it's, get it's up. It's not um, privilege. <laughs> it's, it's actually a responsibility. <laughs> a responsibility. No, there are privileges given to you. No, no, no. We don't, see, the, as, uh, from we the don't see it as privileges. If you say privileges, it's it. Someone may Christians think, cannot marry more than one. That privilege is not given them. No, someone may think it's, it's, it's a constitution or maybe Islam is... It's being not being fair towards the female gender. It's not privilege. It's a responsibility, mm -hmm. and you account for that responsibility. Yeah. Just like any other responsibility. Yes. So that is why those things are laid down. Those no, we don't see it as conditions. privilege. So mm -hmm. it's it's not a privilege. Yes. Yeah, so some mm -hmm. men take this as an advantage <laughs> mm -hmm. to go out. Mm -hmm. Like, but you, the woman, once you are married, okay. you have you are to married. remain faithful to your husband. Okay. And secondly. You have to be there for your husband, take care of the home and the children as well. Once you are married, are kids. yeah, that's if they are kids. You have to take care of the kids and take care of the home. Just like what Alafi Rana said, depending on, on the couples, yes, because some men to do take care of the kids, do wash it and other stuff, cook so, but that is what a woman is supposed to do as a married woman, yes.
Mm. Well, what about some who say you've not mentioned submission uh, and respect? Yes, of mm. course, you have to be mm. submissive as well and respect your husband. But you see, respect is reciprocal. Mm -hmm. Yes. You respect your husband, he respects you. Yes, respect shouldn't be a one-way thing. And I don't even see it to be a responsibility, but something that is necessary, it's necessary. in the, in okay. the marriage and is reciprocal. And the mm -hmm. submission to, yes, mm -hmm. a woman, as a woman, you have to lower yourself down to your husband mm -hmm. and listen to whatever he has to say. Lowering yourself or coming down from his level, making him feel like the head of the family, doesn't mean you're a slave. Yeah. It doesn't mean you cannot voice out your thoughts your when you disagree yeah. with something he's either doing or has said yeah. earlier. Isn't it a love like Exactly. Mm. You know, no sane man would want to enslave his wife because she's your partner. You are making children with her. Like, she's going to stay with you for life. So there's no point trying to make her feel inferior. Mm. You, you know, one time on, on radio, when uh, this love program that I do on radio as well, um, there was this story that was a problem that was sent to us where the man, according to you know the story that the man sent to us, he says he's getting old and his, he, it breaks his heart when he sees his mother doing the house chores. Mm. You see, it breaks his heart when he sees his mother uh, when he sees his mother doing the house chores, mm -hmm. when he can marry and the wife can do those mm -hmm. house chores for the mother. Mm -hmm. In this sense, a lot of people argue that this man doesn't understand the marriage. Mm -hmm. It means that you're only looking for a woman who would come in and serve your, your mother. mother. As yeah. a maid. Exactly, and serve your mother, not to be husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, so that's where this, um, that's, that's what I mean when I said it depends on the kind of lady you are marrying. You get it. If you are marrying a housewife, naturally she would do all these things. But if you are married to a career woman who also has other responsibilities aside marriage, it will be very difficult yeah. for her to take up these extra responsibilities. So if you want someone who can take care of your mother, then you are going in for a housewife. This means you would you'd provide everything she would need, financially, physically, the protection she would need, everything she would need. She would not even have to work. So she would have all the time in the world to take care of the house, yeah. your marital home. Okay. And in, in, in so doing, she would extend that to your mother too. Okay. But since those form part of the marital home, she would do that. But you don't go marrying someone with a career, someone who equally works, maybe you, you both go, go to work by 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. close by 4 or 5 p.m., okay. and you expect her to take care of the home, take, make you food, mm -hmm. and take care, of, take care of your mother and her other responsibilities too. That would be unfair. Mm. Okay, that would be unfair, but let's, let's take your, your sight on this particular thing that I just wrote down, where we see some men who would just want to see their wife's home. Right? Yeah. Who just want to see their wives home. When in this era, we're having a lot of women out there, feminism preaching, women empowerment, women empowerment. How would you manage uh, such a home as a man? Wanting your wife just to be a home for you? It should be a mutual agreement. Mm. If my wife so wants to stay home, then so be it. No, but you suggested that. I'll ask a man. <laughs> you no, no, no. That. I wouldn't suggest to my wife that she should remain home unless no, I can. I'm, I'm just saying, no, no, in, you. Okay, but in a are, situation. These are things that are happening. Yes, in a situation where a man suggests that. Uh, yes. So if you suggest that, uh, that's why I'm saying you should you should consider who you are marrying. We just don't date for dating sake. You should once once you are dating somebody, you should be able to read his mind kind of see how he fits you in his future. You get it? Mm. So if you are marrying somebody who sees you as a housewife and you don't want to be a housewife, then don't go in for that marriage. Because just like we mentioned earlier, as part of communication, maybe the lady might share with you what she wants to become in future yeah. mm. as part of a supportive mm. boyfriend. Yeah. Maybe you give her advice, maybe to shape her, this is what, if you do this and that, you become this and mm. that. Mm. So if from the 
first day or from, from the word go, if you see that like anytime you bring in these suggestions as to how you want to the career path you want to take, mm. this man kills your career like he kills you should know that this is the kind of man who doesn't want you to work. I don't have a problem with men who don't want their wives to work, provided you can provide for well, every little need she, mm. she wants. We have ladies who don't work, but they are very okay. They drive cars, all they have to do is just maybe sunset after three, after I say prayer, they drive, drive to town, go get somewhere and sit. They call themselves hajis, <laughs> they have their, yeah, they don't work. Their husband provides everything for them. Even the pay, pay through, the fuel she drives, the, the car takes. The husband buys it. Her airtime, everything she does, the husband provides it. Okay. And she even has extra money to even take care of her extra responsibilities. Mm -hmm. That is fair enough. Mm -hmm. If you don't want her to work, okay. you, should pro you, you, you should be ready to mm -hmm. provide for her needs, mm -hmm. every aspect of her needs. Okay. That is fair enough. But okay. once you are struggling as a man too, and you want a career woman, maybe let's say you've married a nurse, she has a profession, and you want her to stay home, when you yourself you cannot provide bet like you cannot provide for the family to your satisfaction mm. that wouldn't be fair for both of you yeah. and you should allow her to work also bring something to the table okay. sometimes men are afraid allowing their women to work because once they begin to work and begin to contribute to the um, growth mm. of the relationship or the marriage some responsibilities may be like she may demand that some of her responsibilities may be taken from her you get it? Some of his response. Okay. No, some of her responsibilities should be taken away. Okay. Let's say maybe you had a, mo a mother who she used to take care mm. of. Now that she's working, she doesn't have that time because when she goes to work, she comes home late. Yeah. She can only prepare food for you. But adding that additional responsibility mm. to her, she can't take care of it. So maybe she may suggest that you get a house help okay. or a maid to take care of those extra responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things why some men don't want their their wives, wives to work. work. Okay. All right, so clear stand of that, um, um, honey, so that we can go on a commercial work. Okay. Just like what Alafi Rana said. Mm -hmm. it is, uh, as a woman, you are as, a woman. As, as a woman, yeah, it will be a mutual understanding <laughs> between I and my husband. Okay. But if he's well to do and is willing to give me everything whilst I'm at home just doing all the chores being a housewife there's no problem would you be comfortable yes i'll be comfortable if there's money to spend why not <laughs> i for instance i'll be comfortable you'll be comfortable yes, I'll, I'll be comfortable oh, okay. yes but if i know situations at home is not that good you are not that financially stable okay to cater for me mm. just being home no i'll have to hit the road okay yes Hitting the road is what uh, honey will do when you insist that she stays at home when you cannot provide financially. <laughs> Satisfactory for her or the relationship matters, it is what you're still watching on KMTV. I am Pink Lassie, I love Filana and honey. We'll take a jiffy and we will return. And we're back from that jiffy <laughs> and for sticking with us. We're glad and appreciate your, uh, you know, acquaintance with us here on relationship matters on KMTV. Uh, still on the discussion responsibilities of both men and women in a relationship and marriage. We've exhausted all of that. Uh, we're getting into the, you know, there are definitely negatives in everything. Uh, so we're getting into the negative impact, the, um, you know, when one is not able to live up to their responsibilities in a marital home, precisely. Let me start with you, um, Alafilana. When one is not able to live up to expectations with their responsibilities, what can happen in a marital home? That is where you begin to have counter responsibilities, <laughs> or you begin to have little problems in your relationship. Naturally, if a man is able to live up to his responsibilities, then this submission, this house chores, these respects we are talking about would follow naturally. It would it would just flow if a man is able to provide so financially. I <laughs> no, but even with that, uh, even with 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 the stubbornness, yeah. if you are able to live up to your responsibility, meaning you are keeping your part of the deal, yeah, yeah. 
you get it uh -huh. so she would naturally live up to her own if you're able to provide for her financially you would, like there's money to spend just like you were ask, asking honey would she be comfortably staying yeah. in a master home where she does nothing yeah. i'm telling you i'll be more than comfortable <laughs> If there's money to spend, like who wants stress? Mm. Who wants to go to a babu market or the colony hustling things? And <laughs> no, at the end, is it not the money we are looking for? Yeah. Yeah. But if the money is there for me to spend, why, why stress myself? Mm. I'll just stay in the house, do my chores, do make sure everything is in order. Somewhere around 12, 1, 2, I take my car, I drive to town. Mm. You cruise that. Yeah, go <laughs> sit somewhere, hang around with friends. You know, there's, there's, there's this happiness or there's this authority when you are moving around town with money. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> when you are moving around town with money, like even the kind of acquaintances or the kind of friends you have, you know, they, they are of the high class mm. kind of friends. Mm. Yeah. Even, even though you don't work, but you have the money to spend mm -hmm. you get it so if the man lives up to this responsibility naturally the woman would live up to hers if the man provides for everything in the house the woman should be able to take care of things in the house what's what is what is doing house chores what is maybe sweeping cleaning around there's washing machine to just you just have to put the clothes in the washing machine to wash rinse and dry the thing the cooking you just have to stand in the kitchen for about 30 minutes food would be ready hey we will prepare for food in 30 minutes for food <laughs> you can't even prepare for food in less than 30 minutes hey, food. Yeah, food. <laughs> you wait for your husband to come home and pound the food you know so you would make sure that everything is set in the house but once what is expected of you is not done or it's not done up to expectation then there will begin to problems to, there will begin to be problems for example if you are if you should be able to provide for the lady financially and you are not living up to that expectation mm. and you now expect the lady to bring something to the table meaning at the end of the month if you are giving her money for upkeep she should be able to bring something from her end that means you are giving her the opportunity or you are opening the doors for her to go out and find money so once you are out there looking for money she's out there looking for money those responsibilities that was natural or that was kind of culturally stated for her to do would begin to be shared amongst you too okay. even if not amongst you too then there would be a third party doing that so you would find in our modern homes you find house helps the man is out there working, the woman is out there working. It's either there's a household or a nanny. Or a nanny <laughs> taking care of the kids. Exactly. Yeah. You you get it. Mm. So if the man feels up to or do not live up to that responsibility of providing for the house, the lady would begin to neglect some of her responsibilities. And on the other hand, if a lady fails to live up to her own or her side of the bargain, there will be consequences too. For example, a lady who fails to keep, even though less granted your man provides everything in the house, everything you need, you don't work, he provides everything. But yes, so the piece of, you know, once he provides everything for you, naturally you should give him that peace of mind, like when he comes home, oh, welcome home daddy, you welcome him, like there's already water for him to bath, food on the table for him to eat. So he goes through the hustle and tussle throughout the day, he comes home, you didn't cook. <laughs> You get it. Like, so all day, what have you been doing in yeah. the house? You were out there cruising in town. By the time you got home, okay. you were late. You get it. Okay. So naturally, the man would begin to look for other alternatives. Yeah. You get it. Because you fail to live up to Expertise. your side of the bag. Okay. All right. But I think uh, we left out the sexual responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I want to believe that. For, for sexual responsibility, uh -huh. it's, it's coined in the marriage. Once yes. you are married, uh -huh. you have um, the natural right to each other, uh -huh. to make love, to have sex. Yeah. That one, I think, it's, it's naturally part of marriage. Okay. You know, once... But once it's, it's not, yeah, but once it's not, it's not, not well. satisfying, yes. It but that's one has nothing to do with 
like it's both that responsibility yes, is shared. It's both, yes. Yeah, it's shared. Yes. So it has nothing to do with maybe the side of the man or the side of the lady. Well, yes. You have to share that responsibility. Uh -huh. So once the the it's lack of sex from the other party. Lack of proper sex. Yes, proper. <laughs> proper. You shouldn't proper qualify. Sex. I mean, sex, you know, mm -hmm. anybody could just like you could just yeah. meet each other. At this point, you, you can bang, 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 and get. At this point, you can't proper. qualify it as proper, proper. sex okay. because Whatever you are married. Whatever she else. gives you, okay. you take it as such. <laughs> Whatever he gives you, okay. you take it as such because <laughs> you you would have known. Him or her sexual before you agree to marry him or her, mm. and that is what you want to keep enjoying. And so yeah, so whatever you <laughs> saw and you agree to marry him or her, you should continue to accept it. When so now qualifying it a proper sex, it it will be out of order because maybe you now want to see maybe what she's giving you now is not enough. It's not enough. But exactly. No no no. Not enough as in not regularly or what she does in bed now doesn't satisfy you. No, now you're you know when you're in a relationship, it is different from marriage. You're trying to learn new things, new styles, you know, to impress not to impress, but you make your sex game very interesting. But yeah, sure. well, now you're married. I no, mean, it's what, what have that you way. done? You know, so you begin to lose. I'm not saying that is the case, but no, some but of actually you should continue that way. I I was thinking maybe when there is um, lack of sex, maybe you know sometimes yeah. ladies can just get angry and decide that they will not give their body to you. And even the men, you know, you go to work, you come back, you are extremely tired from the day's activities, yeah, and you cannot perform too seldom, well. Seldom, seldom, seldom do men deny their wife's sex. No, seldom. you, 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 okay, fine, you will, but it might not be. You know. Yeah, but seldom do men and deny their wife's sex. And that is when the woman sex. should be able to understand that today he's tired, you know, so. Oh. But it's ah, it's mostly comes here. <laughs> yeah. yeah sure but it's mostly on the part of the woman like a, a woman for no reason can just decide to, they call it mood swings or yes. whatever she can for no reason just decide not to yes she's not in the mood <laughs> that kind of stuff yeah. so when I'm not in the mood begin okay. to sex in mm. you are always not in the mood mm. you are always not in the mood mm. when you are dropping his money <laughs> You get it. So he will begin to get someone who is always in the mood. No more. That's where that's where side chicks begin to come. Okay, I love you. Now. Thank you so much, uh, uh, honey. What do you have to say on this? Uh, you know, the sexual satisfaction of both. You know, parties. Uh, parties exactly. Yeah, looking at the sexual satisfaction, I think it's very important. Very important. It's extremely important. Huh. You see. <laughs> There is the difference between marriage and dating. Mm -hmm. After marriage, responsibilities come in, huge ones for that matter. Case have started coming, paying of school fees and other things. Even the woman, after having case for some time, I mean, the sex yeah, kind of right, business, yes, right? Exactly. And even, I read something that said that there is a study that when a man is married and responsibilities start coming in, his sexual drives goes down. Exactly. So when exactly. that begins to chip in, you both have to come to a mutual understanding. You shouldn't let it be like, now my husband is not good in bed, my wife is not that active in bed. No. She has given birth. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, she has even go, gone through operation mm -hmm. and other stuff that might mm -hmm. affect her. Yeah. So this one, dear, mm -hmm. both parties have to sit down and talk about, and talk it. about it okay yes. lastly your advice for all couples <laughs> okay my advice to all couples should be they shouldn't allow what others say get to them they shouldn't listen to what others have to say about their relationship they know each other and they've decided to be together so they should just keep it positive and don't allow any backbiters and side issues affect mm. their Relationship. And, and haters. Yes, haters. <laughs> they will say it, it will end in tears. It will end in tears. Let them know that it will not end in tears. It doesn't always end in tears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, laughing. Your conclusion on this. Yeah. Well, you know, um, every relationship is unique. Hmm. No, there's no single definition that defines how every relationship should be. Okay. So identify your own relationship. Make the rules. Follow them. Don't allow what others do, others see, chip into your mind and begin to alter your thinking in your own relationship. Don't allow 
what others see affect your relationship you you should be as a couple you are both mature he is the man you are the lady sit together define your own rules make the rules follow them and once you make the rules and you follow them that's where the relationship will thrive ah thank you so much for your time i love elena and the counselor and honey as well such a fruitful conversation thank you so much for your time and for you who have been watching throughout i want to say thank you to you and also remember to follow like share this broadcast as well so that your friends will benefit from these discussions having exhausted the responsibilities of a man and a woman in a relationship i am queen classy i've been here with alaf yelena and honey remember love is the most beautiful feeling to have happen to anyone in this life love right and love well peace we're out <laughs>